just the two of them and us on the final two show. Tropicana Field in the heart of St. Petersburg, Florida on a day as sunny and clear as a Chamber of Commerce picture postcard. The frenzy of yesterday's national semifinals is now a memory. The anticipation of tomorrow night's national title game is just beginning to mount. So right now, we're in the calm eye of the storm. Hi, once again, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to the Pepsi One Final Two show, The Road to Number One. We are now some 32 hours from the tip-off of the national championship game. Tomorrow night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, Connecticut and Duke will do battle for the NCAA championship on the hardwood floor right behind me. UConn will be making its first ever championship game appearance, while Duke is after its third national crown of the 90s. I am joined by my trusty partners, Rick Majerus, head coach at Utah, and Clark Kellogg. And as we look ahead to this game tomorrow night, what do you think of, coach? Well, I think that Connecticut's got its hands full here. They're going to have to have Bosco body up and play and push Brand early, keep him off the block, make Langdon dribble to a three every time, and they're going to have to keep Duke off the foul line in order to have any chance at all to try to win this game. I love the way he talks like a coach. Well, don't I you? love listening to Rick talk to break the game down like that. As an analyst, a former player, and even as a fan, both of these teams are evenly matched. Excellent defensive teams, but they also have tremendous spurt ability. Just from a fan standpoint, I would love to see that spurt ability and that high-octane offense on display, so hopefully that happens. All right, Clark. A short while ago, UConn arrived here at Tropicana Field. They will practice a little bit later. Our Bonnie Bernstein had a chance to visit with two of the Husky spark plugs, Richard Hamilton and Khaled el -Amin. Call it in the regional final. You struggled shooting. You come out yesterday and have an 18-point game. Really had the transition game going. What do you have to do tomorrow to get that same up and down game going with Duke? Well, we have to do the same defensive uh, of pressure, put the same different pressure, and also we have to rebound on the boards. Every time they put a shot out, we definitely have to rebound and just run every time we get the rebound. How do you think Duke defensively is going to handle your break? Well, I think they're a good team, and they're going to do an excellent job getting back. But at the same time, every team ha tries to get back and tries to do a great job of that, and we still tend to get some easy buckets. So we have to just keep continue to do the things that we've been doing. Rip, you had 24 points. You were really getting out on the break yesterday. But from a defensive standpoint, I know you're in the backcourt, so you mm -hmm. might not be dealing with Elton Brown too much. But how do you approach him? How do you try to stifle him down in the paint? I think uh, Jake Bosco is one of the best defenders in the country. You know, I think he's been holding his own through the whole year. I know that you know not too many uh, players can stop Elton by themselves. But I think Jake does an excellent job of holding his own. And if we got a big, big double, you know, we'll do that. But you know, I, I think I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with the with the uh, presence that Jake Bosco has in the middle. Great. Thanks. Good luck to you tomorrow. Thank you. All right, Bonnie, thanks. This reminder for you, you can get inside the tournament with box scores, team stats, and recaps in the Game Center only at cbs.sportsline.com or on America Online. Enter the keyword CBS Sportsline. Now, next up, we will take a unique look at the remarkable three-week odyssey that began with 64 teams from schools of all sizes. It's the ultimate insider's view to tomorrow night's championship, and that's when we continue here on CBS. CBS Sports presentation of the Pepsi One Final Two Show, The Road to Number One, is sponsored by new Pepsi One. True cola taste, one calorie. Tastes too good to be called diet. This is the moment right here. We got two days now for the biggest game of our lives biggest game of our lives move. What matters to me most, when we come by, when we have our good name, and the only way we can do that is just like we did it in New Orleans. It's already been quite a week for the Red Hawks of Miami. Quite a week for Cinderella. Next stop, St. Louis, the gateway city. Sooners of Oklahoma are already there. Another unlikely member of the Sweet 16. I think it's great with it. Okay, I'll give you the payday for 10 rebounds. Is that all? Well, oh, give it back. Let me, let me up the bed. My bad. I got a scam though, man.
coach Kelvin Sampson could have got a whole lot more for that candy bar the way his kids are playing. Now, everybody, smile. Well, this has been uh, quite a weekend for the uh, Gonzaga community. Saturday, David slew Goliath. Divine intervention? How about hard work? Gonzaga on its way to Phoenix. March Madness almost halfway home. And what an amazing ride it's already been. Thanks, 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 thanks. that plays together is a team that wins. Let's go get it. It is a fist fight. Just ask North Carolina. Here comes Oaks. And he's free. He's through the ring. He's through the ring. Weber State has come off the biggest upset of the first day of the NCAA tournament. UCLA can carry a tune. So can the kids from Motown. The Detroit Knights have sprung the 12-5 upset. 32 still playing. Engine running, wheels turning, the road to the final four. Congratulations on being here. You know what we're doing? Have a good game, guys. Back to each other, guys. Whatever it takes, just get there. Round one, and America's about to meet one of the hardest working acts in the land. Hero with an unlikely name. Coach, your place is like Montana Tech, you get used to doing it at home. And then there's Kelvin Sampson. You know, a lot of folks say he and his team shouldn't even be here. Oklahoma received the last at-large bid. That's all you need to know. Our work for today is relentless. We've got to be relentless. Let's set a whole standard on how we play hard. Take all the way back to September. We get up at 6 o'clock in the morning for this. And here we are in March. We're one of the final teams playing. We got a chance to do something special today. For two hours, Get out there and give me everything you have. Everything you have, play as hard as you can. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everything they have against Arizona champions two years ago. This tournament is ruled by a simple creed. Believe in yourself. Believe in the possibility that anything can happen. And maybe, just maybe, it will. After today, 32 teams go home. Hello. There's, yeah, only, thir there's only 32 teams left. We win Sunday, fellas. We're in the Sweet 16. Crash the party on three, baby. Crash the party. One, two, three. Crash the party. Yeah. Oklahoma has crashed the party. Now, let's see how long they can dance. David 
was one of the um, significant heroes in the Bible. David probably was an athlete, had a lot of hustle, a lot of spunk, a lot of, a lot of faith. Uh, I mean, if you say you couldn't do it, Davis, I can do it. You guys are here uh, because you earned it. You're not a Cinderella story. Everybody else afraid to uh, go against Goliath. Y'all nervous? Wow. Now, what's up with y'all? Y'all so quiet? He was big, he was bad, he was awesome. They're gonna come out and they're gonna try to throw a haymaker and knock you out in the first couple of minutes. Everybody said, Goliath, you win. You know, you got it. David said, I will fight him, I will defeat him. There's no fear, no fear in this room. No. No. And sure enough, with that kind of faith and courage, David was victorious. Courage is what counts. Courage to get out there and what? The guy very best ability. Enjoy this day, guys. You have earned it, and you are ready to fly. Hey, Valparaiso. Last year, they carried David's sling. This year, they found out how rare miracles truly are. This is the best days of your life. Enjoy. Here we go. Now, go battle a giant. It is all over. The first trip didn't last very long, but it was fun. We have nothing to be ashamed of. It's come a long way, son. I'm proud of you. Get the It hurts, even when you're supposed to lose. No one will take away the accomplishments that you have made this year. Ever. But echoes of glory seldom linger. The College of Charleston. John Crest, a run of 25 wins in a row, one and done in the tournament. Fresh. Number two will have to wait for another day. Heads up. I do not want to see a guy with his head down. Not one. Heads up. You've been blessed too much to have your head down. Yes. That's great. This, then, is the lasting lesson. March Madness is a dance both beautiful and cruel. 63 teams will watch their seasons, their dreams, and for some, their careers come to an end. Only one, just one, will be crowned national champion. If we are down and we really want to get the team and the audience really highly hyped, we do this tune here. It's called Bob Marley. <laughs> Welcome to Florida A&M. Basketball success is a new thing around here. So is the tournament. This is the Rattlers' first trip. The team from Tallahassee's opening opponent, Duke. Uh, they're playing Duke, and, and, and everyone in the world know that uh, that's almost like uh, impossible for them to win. But uh, at the same time, there's nothing impossible. First five or six minutes of this game, they're going to try to step on the floor and absolutely annihilate it. They're going to try and get in there and take away our, our dreams. Potential. Possibility. 
the reasoned expectation that anything can happen. This is a game we plan to win. We ain't playing just because we're here and we won the, the championship and we're going out there going home to be happy. It's a game we're coming out to win. Let the celebration begin. There's a pass in the ball ahead of the St. Louis. The Miami University Redhawks are on the way to the Sweet 16. one of these games, Eric, where you can't get into it. You can't get into it, you'll be at home tonight and your season's gonna be over. You deserve to go to St. Louis and be in the Sweet 16. Go play your guts out for the next 40 minutes and let's go get our reward. Let's go. Let's go. Here comes I've never been more happy and more proud of a basketball team in my life. Let's go. Teamwork wins. One, two, three. Teamwork wins. Yeah, man. If we need a quick burst of energy, uh, maybe a, a 15 or 20 second time out, and we want to give them a little hypodermic needle of rap, a rattlerism. We do this tune entitled Mighty Rattlers. Mighty Rattlers. One, two, three. The rattler rhythm may be infectious. One problem Duke marches to its own beat. notes of A&M's debut are just moments away. One, two, three, four, four. The Tennessee Volunteers, one of the big guys, and little Southwest Missouri State. They've already knocked off a number five seed. with 10 guys on the same page. Dogs, one, two, three, dogs. Cinderella has a new address, and the Stein Saga Bulldogs have advanced to the Sweet 16. This isn't Cinderella. It's pronounced Gonzaga. They're going to learn how to pronounce it. This is a good quality basketball team, and we're not done. What do you stop us? Now, this is really the venom. You know, rattlesnakes produce that venom, that poison, and this is the thing that really gets them up. Right in the middle of the family spirit. One, two, three, and one. <laughs> The impossible is often proved possible. That's the fuel that fires this competition's engine. That's what that rattler spirit is all, is all about, and that's what we're going to bring to the Duke Blue Devils. They better get ready for us.
mercy, not a drop. Opening tip, game over. The final score, who cares? On this night, the Rattlers of Florida A&M are number one in the world. Potential, possibility, and a healthy dose of reality. Here, more often than not, Goliath wins the game. Michigan State, on to the round of 16. Play, play, but let's keep going hard, two points at a time. Connecticut, one win at a time. Auburn, rolling. Congratulations. Give me a hug. And was that fun? Wasn't that fun? I mean, and we go to Knoxville? Yeah. There we go to Knoxville. And for Duke, the Sweet 16 as well. No time for Cinderella. No, Duke, no! The only almost undefeated team. They have a good record. <laughs> no time for children's fairy tales. But there was that night when David forgot his slingshot, when the Rattlers went into battle without their band. The orchestra pit stood empty. Spring break, you understand. Oh, what might have been. CBS Sports presentation of the Pepsi One Final Two Show, The Road to Number One, is sponsored by new Pepsi One. True cola taste, one calorie. Tastes too good to be called diet. Interstate 70. Five hours of highway from Cincinnati to St. Louis. A long ride from Miami. A busy week for Wally. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wally Serbia! He's going to put Miami of Ohio on the map. I ate breakfast the same time as he did last semester. Yeah. <laughs> I was next to him in line for lunch the other day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the biggest game of their lives. Probably the longest bus trip, too. This is how we prepare for Michigan State. Watch. Nice little game of movie Dictionary. Dictionary. Badge of courage. Oklahoma's Eduardo Nahara is nursing a sprained thumb. That's nothing. This is a kid from the streets of Mexico. It was all he could do just to get an American school to give him a chance. Did you say Sweet 16 in Spanish for us? I don't know how to say that. No? I don't think there's a translation. Nothing? From the holiday society. Phoenix, the Valley of the Sun. I'm glad you guys are still around. That means we're still around. Coach Dan Munson's Bulldogs. Right, good luck, John. Hanging tough. Gonzaga prepares for its showdown with Florida. Behind closed doors, thank you. Far away, in Manhattan's shadow, Southwest Missouri State is about to take on Duke.
almost there, fellas. And then there were three. Call them David, Cinderella, Believers. Believers in chance, in possibility, in themselves. You got another great opportunity of a lifetime to take advantage of. People still don't get it. People still don't think you belong. We know we're good. We've proven that. They have a 16 teams left in this tournament. We're a good basketball team. Now we need to go show the nation. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! times you heard me say you don't get success until you earn it well you've earned it you've earned the right to go out and win this game Oklahoma Just, we just gotta, I don't know what we gotta do. I'm a mess. <laughs> Six games played. Fifty-six teams gone. Just eight teams remain. Each fighting for a place in the final four. Eight teams. An elite eight. No real surprises, save one. Gonzaga. Hey, it's about us. We got to go play well, all right? You play well, and we're going to win. You got to understand that. That's the bottom line. Th this is super great, okay? They got ability, all right? We got a team. Don't nobody fool when we walk the streets and they say, we're talking cheap. My son and I were talking. He told me we were going to win the game. And I believe it.
this a war. You're not going to win this game being a pretty team. If you get into that kind of game, you got problems. You got to make it a war. You got to make this game a crusade. No sound more hollow than when the clock strikes 12. It was an unbelievable run. You have got to understand what an achievement you've had and what an accomplishment and what a year it's been. All right, bring it in. That was a great effort, fellas. Great effort. Unbelievable effort, fellas. Dogs. One, two, three. Dogs. Okay, this is the inside of the cabin where I wrote the yellow pages. It's really a fascinating place. A lot of research material. Here's a hazardous waste removal. Attorneys, they send me a cast. This is really interesting. This is for loans. Check this out. I told them I never got it. Bakeries, we got cakes. This was amazing, this, automotive repair. Guy sent me a whole engine. I do all the drawings for the book. Yeah, people don't know that. They don't even know I wrote the book. People think it's just a phone book, and it's not. It's a place to get ideas. Rhonda Drury started working at Jiffy Lube six years ago. Today, she's a regional manager. She'll tell you that signature service... Ohio State, Duke, Michigan State, the Final Four. Maybe they can't sing, but ask the Buckeyes if the Huskies can play. For Scooney Penn, wrong day, wrong number. Someone lost his jersey. Ohio State lost the game. You can book it. The UConn continues on to the Monday Night Final. Team Cleves predicted the Spartans' last win. What about this time? He told me, Daddy, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of it. I got it. It's in the bag. It's over. It's over. Duke advances to the national championship game. So it's Coach K's Blue Devils and Jim Calhoun's Huskies. Who will be national champion? You know, when you talk about favorite moments in this tournament, mine has to be to see how far Jim Calhoun and his Huskies have progressed to the championship game. For a guy who has coached so well for so long, and then to get a little grief about his program, it's nice to see him get this far, Clark. It certainly is, and if I could talk about a number of moments, that would certainly be one Tom Davis from Iowa having a run to the Sweet 16. Harold Arsenault from Weaver State put on tremendous shows in both of the games they played. And then you think about my man magic moment, though, obviously, being a Buckeye graduate, an Ohio State grad, seeing the Buckeyes get to the Final Four stands out in my mind. How about you, Coach? I was really happy for Tom Izzo and Jim O'Brien, the fact that they hadn't been here before along with Calhoun. It's so special to be here. It reaches and touches every, every emotional 
aspect of your life, and it was it was special for them. I'm empathetic of how how well uh, that bodes for their family and friends. All right, Coach. Well, the, the ultimate tournament moment has yet to unfold. The crowning of the national champion, which awaits us at the conclusion of tomorrow night's game between Connecticut and Duke. Speaking of the Blue Devils, Coach K's squad arrived here just a short while ago. They will uh, practice just a bit later. Armin Katayan caught up with two of the key components of the Duke Blue Devils machine, center Elton Brand and guard William Avery. CBS Sports presentation of the Pepsi One Final Two Show, The Road to Number One, is sponsored by new Pepsi One. True cola taste, one calorie. Tastes too good to be called diet. Another sunny and beautiful day in St. Petersburg, Florida. This view looking east toward Tampa Bay with aerials, as always, provided by Goodyear. And across the bay at the Tampa Convention Center, fans of all ages having a ball at Hoop City. Who knows, maybe one day one of these kids will grow up and play in a championship game. Meanwhile, welcome back to Tropicana Field, everyone. Tomorrow night, UConn's Jim Calhoun will participate in his first national championship game, while this is the sixth go-round for Duke's Mike Krzyzewski. Right now, they join us live. They're with Michelle Tafoya. Michelle. Greg, thank you very much. And gentlemen, before we go... Obviously a very strong scoring machine in Duke University. Get Brand off the block on the boards. I'd change defenses to keep him a little bit off balance, press judiciously, and finally make sure that Hamilton gets a lot of shots. Okay, Clark. Every time you take a look at analyzing a basketball game, you can hang your hat on a few statistics. Turnovers, the free throw game, and rebounding. One of the X factors can be the three-point shot. But I think in this matchup, both of these teams have high-octane offenses, and they're very good defensively. I think whoever can get the most easy baskets and assert their will offensively is going to have a chance to win. And I think UConn is capable of doing that. I'm also interested in seeing these two guys and the kind of adjustments that they will make after 20 minutes out on the floor when they go back into the locker room and see just what it is they have to do to try to adjust to what happened. Anyway, our coverage begins at 9 Eastern time with Prelude to a Championship, and that is followed by the National Championship game between the Connecticut Huskies and the Blue Devils of Duke. Coming up next, stay tuned to CBS for live coverage of the Texas 500 from the Texas Motor Speedway. Last night, the Connecticut Huskies and the Duke Blue Devils gave us many a shining moment. We'd like to share a few of them with you as uh, we look forward to their battle for the national championship. For Rick Majerus and Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. We'll see you tomorrow night. All is too. There you are. You're living for your life. You're a shooting star. All those years, no one knows. Just all your work. But now we're showing.